Hey guys, this is Brad with Fun Projects with Brad. Washing machine started leaking. I started working on it and halfway through I was like, oh my gosh, I have a YouTube channel. I'm supposed to be streaming this stuff now. So anyways, I'm already halfway there, but I'll walk you through what I did. I've got a Whirlpool Duet HT. So the first thing I did was take this front cover off. There's three screws. There's one here, one here, and one here. So I took those three screws out and the front cover just literally just pops right off. And then once you're inside here, <clears throat> and there was water in here pooling up so uh, and it, it started happening I uh, noticed <clears throat> I put it on a rinse cycle and this hose right here runs up to the top of the machine the drain hose the water was dripping down this hose right here so I was like okay my drain hose is clogged or something like it's not draining properly because I lifted up the hose back here that goes into the drain and nothing was draining out so I took that off, I ran it through the sink. It's not clogged. So then I took the top off, it's three screws. One here, one here, and one here. Um, took those three screws off, the top pops right off, and look, you can see it right here. It's clear as day. This thing is like clear plastic, and then you get to the top here and it gets all dark and dingy. I guarantee that thing's clogged. I'm gonna... So what I do is, I get my vice grips and I loosen them a little bit. Get them in here. Which and squeeze down on this clamp. And then try and wiggle it back. Oh, water everywhere. <laughs> So, I definitely have a hole in my hose, but I'm also wondering what it looks like in here. Oh. Oh, that's nasty. Oh my gosh. Alright, well I'm going to clean this out because this is definitely why the motor sounds so loud. Look, there's like a big piece of chunk of plastic in here. And a quarter. All kinds of gunk. Yeah, I'm going to clean this out. I bet it sounds a lot better after that. Look, I found a look. I found a Scrabble piece. B. Fun project with bread. So, the water comes in through here, goes through those holes, and then comes out through this bottom side, up those holes, and then out, out the side here. And then all that plastic was in there, and that coin, and all kinds of stuff. And it's even keyed, so you know you can't put it in there wrong. But yeah, that's. That was worth it just to clean that thing out, you know? That was gross. Um, my hose is leaking. I need a new new hose. I'm going to go head up to the hardware store and buy myself a new hose. But, man, it's worth it just to clean that out. I bet that's causing all kinds of problems. And that's why that motor was so loud. All right, so I found the hole. It's right... I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It's probably where it's rubbing up against the drum or something. They have this foam up here, but... It was definitely rubbing up against something. You can see see where it was rubbing up against and that's where the hole's at. That's where that small leak was coming from. I'm gonna go up to the hardware store and buy a different hose and maybe some foam to cover it up. Help protect it from hitting it again.
It's been 24 hours. The epoxy has dried. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to put it in anyways. We're going to see what happens. I mean, I couldn't find the part at Lowe's, so... I mean, we'll order it online, but at least we can do laundry while we're waiting for this sucker to fail. We'll see what happens. There's a clip down here, and it was not connected to this clip before. And if you look down in here, let's see. So there's a clip down in here, and if you look where that clip is, I think it fell out of that clip. And that and it was rubbing up against this concrete over here, and that's what caused the hole. I bet it popped out of that clip and then I bet that's what happened. I bet it won't leak anymore. I bet we're good. Okay, it's been a few days. Wash machine has not leaked at all, so the cheap fix worked. I think I'm gonna leave it like that, guys, and then if it leaks again, I'll, then I'll look for a replacement hose, but for now, I'm happy. Um, gonna put the bottom cover back on, a seven millimeter ratchet, put the top cover back on, uh, same seven millimeter ratchet, pretty easy. I'm really glad that I cleaned out that filter for the motor, I had no idea that was there. Um, I have a feeling that was causing problems and I'm going to do that at least once a year. Take that bottom cover off and clean out that filter. So everything's running great. I'm super happy. I'm glad I did this. Uh, another didn't start out fun. I wasn't happy that my washing machine was broken, but fun projects with Brad. Oh, and I got a new, I got that Scrabble piece. So that's definitely, that's going to be my logo. I'm super excited. What are the odds? Scrabble piece stuck in the washer machine with the letter B on it. 